A convicted killer just confessed to four cold case murders, including two in our area. You learn to live with it. You, there's, there's nothing that I can do other than pray for his soul. Edward Surratt admitting to killing six people in homicides that went unsolved for decades. He's believed to have committed more than 20 murders in the 70s across four different states. Channel 11 Serafina James has new reaction now from the victim's loved ones. And this is important because we're able to give families closure after so many years. Investigators with the Pennsylvania State Police said serial killer and Aliquippa native Edward Surratt has confessed to murders in Beaver County in 1977 and 1978. One of the unsolved cases was the death of John Shelkin. You have to at some point decide that you have to move on or else you're Rest of your life's gonna be ruined. I spoke to Shelkin's son, who tells me he was just 25 years old when his father was murdered by the man police have dubbed the shotgun killer. He tells me he suspected Surratt was involved. This wasn't like some big weight off me or something, but still good to hear that, you know, he has finally fessed up to it. Surratt is now serving two life sentences for crimes he committed in Florida, and he's been convicted of murder in South Carolina. He told state troopers he carried out murders involving six people across Pennsylvania in the late 70s, including a teenager in Coriopolis, John Feeney. That was my son. Nothing I was going to do was going to bring him back from the dead. All I, at that point, all I could do was to, to honor his life and give him a proper burial. Rita Feeney tells me her son was at the prime of his life and Surratt's punishment behind bars isn't enough. I'd like to be the person who takes his hands and pulls his fingernails out by the roots while he's awake in the world. You know, I, I, I want to, I would like to, but there's nothing, I mean, I can't, do anything about it. District attorneys in several counties, including Beaver, agreed not to prosecute Surratt for the cold case homicides due to his life sentences in other jurisdictions. Transporting someone who's serving a homicide life sentences in Florida up here would be too risky to him, to people transporting him, to juries, to court personnel. It's more important to get the closure than, than, than another conviction for homicide. In total, Surratt has been linked to 18 murders from when he was working as a long-haul trucker. In Allegheny County, Serafina James, Channel 11 News.